Israeli rules say West Bank visitors must declare love interest. Foreigners must tell the Israeli Defense Ministry if they fall in love with a Palestinian in the occupied West Bank, according to new rules. Here's a summary of the article. Foreigners must tell the Israeli Defense Ministry if they fall in love with a Palestinian in the occupied West Bank, according to new rules. The regulations laid out in a lengthy document include a demand on foreigners to inform the Israeli authorities within 30 days of starting a relationship with a Palestinian ID holder. New restrictions on Palestinian universities include a quota for 150 student visas and 100 foreign lecturers, while there are no such limits in Israeli ones. A long-standing Israeli ban on granting residency status to foreign spouses of Palestinians in the West Bank means that thousands of people continue to live with an uncertain legal status. The campaign group, Right to Enter, complains of discriminatory, cruel and arbitrary practices by Israeli authorities, causing immense humanitarian difficulties for foreign spouses which result in them being forcibly separated from their families in the West Bank. It says the new procedures will only formalize and aggravate many of the existing restrictions and will force many families to move or stay abroad to maintain their family unity. The European Commission says it has expressed concern about restrictions on foreign students and academics at Palestinian universities to the highest levels of the Israeli authorities. These new regulations make delays worse, increase cost, and decrease the predictability of travel in and out of the West Bank. This predictability is essential to be able to do charity work in the West Bank while still being able to continue doing paid work outside it. He goes on, suggesting that the new rules may prevent doctors employed elsewhere from being able to volunteer. This post received a score of 19,000, with an upvote ratio of 92%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Can you declare, it's complicated. I declare that we are not using any labels, we're just having some fun and seeing where it goes. Lol, they'd probably send you into secondary for a more thorough talk, but that would totally be worth it for the laugh. I, F, went to Palestine in July with my friend, M. He is a U.S. Palestinian citizen and has spent most of his life in the U.S. We were asked both to and from if we were dating, married about a dozen times by customs. Palestinian myself, Israel can eat my fucking asshole. Hope your stay was at least better than that and you enjoyed our food as much as my fat ass does. Greater than Palestinian myself, Israel can eat my fucking asshole. Israel might need to declare their love for you here. That isn't a reciprocating love though. My chocolate star will always be chocolatey just for them. Ah rare insults. Someone want to explain to me how this is Israel defending itself. Remember when Israel defended itself by banning pasta, ketchup, cornflakes, shampoo and chocolate from Gaza. They are light years ahead of everyone else in the defense industry. Can't believe we could have won Afghanistan if we just limited head and shoulders supply. Ball dropped there. Probably someone bald in charge didn't see it coming. Greater than I don't advise a haircut, man. All hairdressers are in the employment of the government. Hair are your aerials. They pick up signals from the cosmos, and transmit them directly into your brain. This is the reason bald-headed men are uptight. Gonna be honest. This comes off as incredibly racist, nationalist, and pre-civil rights anti-race mixing. What in the actual fuck? Israel is a horribly racist nation unfortunately. We somehow let them call themselves the only democracy in the Middle East, while half of the population is treated as second-class citizens. That and it's actually illegal for a Muslim to marry a Jewish person in Israel LMAO. They're a democracy in the way 1930s America was a democracy. If you ignore this group of people we treat like shit, everyone here is doing great. Greater than that and it's actually illegal for a Muslim to marry a Jewish person in Israel LMAO. That is more because marriage is left to the different religious institutions and they generally don't allow cross-religious marriages. Are so a theocratic democracy? It is. It's more accurate to state that there's no legal mechanism for performing civil marriages in Israel, so marriage is only performed, and therefore regulated, by religious authorities there. That being said, Israel does recognize civil marriages that are performed in other jurisdictions, including gay marriages or interfaith marriages. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.